So I'm not sure if y'all heard of CERN. It's called uh, a hydrogen collider or a particle accelerator. Now, um, what I was getting from this is, I think they got this from the movie Flash, well, the show Flash. The reason why I say that is because um, the hydrogen collider, uh, actually, most of y'all probably don't even know what a hydrogen collider is, so I'm gonna show y'all a video of a guy explaining the hydrogen. Two year hiatus, and a group of scientists believes that the results could prove the existence of parallel universes. Scientists believe that a second run of the LHC could produce or detect miniature black holes, which they argue could point to entire universes hidden away in higher dimensions folded into our reality. It all comes down to some That's pretty wild. theoretical science known as gravity's rainbow. I know, it sounds awesome. The basic idea is that gravity doesn't bend light equally, but instead affects each wavelength proportionately. To summarize the paper, this means that earlier attempts to find miniature black holes in the LHC weren't using enough power because the scales had shifted around these objects. Now the LHC will be powered to its highest ever energy levels, about double those of its last run. And if these scientists are right, the new run could uncover black holes tucked away in dimensions beyond the four that we interact with in our daily lives. As All right, so on this second run, this particle accelerator is supposed to be way more powerful now because before it was something uh, shifting in the particle accelerator and it caused it not to work efficiently. But um, what I'm getting from this, okay, let me tell y'all what it does. All right, so you actually send a particle through the particle accelerator and you send one particle going that way and you send one particle going that way. And it's a whole circle, you know what I'm saying? So both particles are being shot in different directions. It's going so fast and then it reaches back around and then it collides into each other and then causes a combustion and creates a black hole or a pocket dimension um, or a parallel universe. Um, <laughs> what I was getting from this is, I'm not sure if they got this from Flash because uh, I, I believe Flash, the movie Flash did this first, but um, it's so crazy to me how they're actually kind of recreating this, but I'm, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So he's running in the particle accelerator. Now, like I said, you send a particle inside of the accelerator and it's going so fast. Boom, it hits the other particle. Then it creates a combustion, but it's only one person running. It's only one particle in this situation. So yeah. The particle will be flashed by the way. Running so fast. Boom. I'm not sure if he actually created a uh, pocket dimension or he either fell out of one or I think it closed in this situation. But yeah, that is what it would look like. I'm not sure if they got that from that, but it's crazy how they're recreating a particle accelerator. And in the movie Flash, the particle accelerator actually exploded and gave everyone superpowers. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, that's just something I wanted to come on here and uh, put on my channel. I'm not sure if y'all know about CERN or the movie Flash, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk about that real quick, my little theory on that. I ain't really saying too much. I'm going to keep on watching these videos and getting a better understanding of CERN and, you know, making my, um, my connecting the dots with Flash and, you know, stuff like that and things of that nature. But yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you know about CERN, let me know what you know about CERN in the comments down below. Without further ado, it's been your boy Project. Y'all stay positive, y'all stay happy. Most of all, just be thankful. 11 11. I had to, I had to, I had to elevate, open my mind. I had to get it, I stayed on my grind. Stay on your pivot, my nigga, and shine. My nigga, this shit came with time. I could just let her take how I do it. I had to meditate, I'm feeling lucid. I see through the major, so no, I'm not losing. I'm rocking them crystal, you hear how they moving.